Hey y'all and welcome. Um, I have to apologize because I, for the life of me, do not know what happened to the beginning of this video. Um, as you can see, I'm working with um, a bunch of glitter and these are jar molds um, that come with the lids that screw on. And um, if you look real closely, is it close or closely? Let me know in the description. I mean, in the comments. Um, anyway, you can see that I have um, one layer of gold holographic glitter. Um, and then uh, now I'm pouring in. I'll let that cure just a little bit. And um, now I'm coming in with um, the pink holographic glitter. Um, and I'm making both jars um, together. And um, I usually use KS resin. Um, I'm kind of new to it, um, but I use their, I have been using their, I think it's liquid art. I wouldn't, don't quote me on that. Um, I'm going to have to um, go look and see. But anyway, um, and I wanted to try their casting resin, which um, will let you cast up to two inches. So um, we'll see what happens with this. Um, it has a little bit more bubbles than um, just the art resin. Um, which is no big deal for right now. Um, but later on, it's, I mean, it's not bad. It's just, I was used to using the, the, um, I keep wanting to say liquid arts. I could be wrong. I wish <laughs> I have to go get the bottle from the other room in order to, to tell y'all the name. But, um, anyway, so um, I am an affiliate of KS Resin, and I will have a link um, and a code, discount code, um, in the um, description box for y'all. Um, so I'm just repeating the process of um, pouring the pink glitter over the gold. Um, anyway, if you decide to use uh, KS resin, you can get a 5% discount. Now, I know 5% doesn't really seem like a lot, but um, over time, it adds up. So, um, just think of it as not having to pay tax. I don't know. But anyway, it's 5% off. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to let these set a little bit. And I'm going to come in here. Um, this is going to be the final layer. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix um, the blue. And pour it on top of the purple. Not purple, um, pink. Um, and I'm, I'm doing these jars for myself. Because, only because um, I'm not really sure what they're going to how they're going to turn out or what they're going to look like. But what my experiment was is that um, with doing layers with glitter only, um, you know, I thought, yeah, they're going to float down, you know, to the bottom of the layer, but how much of the glitter is going to be left within the glit, within the resin. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, um, it's not going to be just a solid color of glitter and then you have resin and then a solid color of glitter and then resin, which is kind of what I'm going for. And, um, you know, I just want those, those solid layers, but it didn't end up that way. <laughs> so, um, I mean, it's okay. They're okay looking. I mean, they're all sparkly, but um, I'm not going to sell these. 
Um, but let me know in the um, in the comments. Leave me a comment and let me know um, what you think. Of them. And do you think anybody would buy them? I don't know. I mean, just because I'm not really fond of them doesn't mean that somebody else, you know, would like them. But, um, yeah, leave me uh, comments. Let me know what you think. So I've already poured um, a good majority, well, at least half of the blue glitter in the bigger mold. And then now I'm going to top it off uh, with some more blue glitter. And those bubbles, I mean, I just, and they won't go away. Look, I don't know if you can see them or not. And then I was kind of worried because I'm thinking, oh, geez, am I going to have air pockets on the side of my jar? Oh, Lordy. Well, well, it's too late now. We'll see what happens. So I've um, topped it off. And going back over it with a heat gun. All right, that one's done. Now we're going to go for the small one. And getting back to KS Resin, um, yeah, they do have uh, different resin for, you know, what what type of projects you're doing. Um, now, this casting resin, they recommend that you cannot coat anything with it. You know, like tumblers, canvases, um, you know, top coats. It's strictly and specifically made for... Um, casting resin up to uh, two inches. So I'm kind of, I want to do, um, first of all, I want to do a planter box next because I have um, some plant cuttings uh, that I need to get into the dirt. So I have a box mold um, that came with the mold for the lid and um, for dominoes well the lid um if you look in my video uh with the gold holographic glitter dominoes um it's in that video and um of the lid just it doesn't snap on it doesn't slide on it just you just put it on top and i did not like that at all um so i thought hey i'll make me some planter boxes so um, I want to do that next, and um, I'm going to be using uh, mica powders. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use glitter yet or not, um, but I'll have to. I'll just have to wait and see. Um, I had some, as you can see, some of the blue glitter resin left over, um, and I had this fish mold, which may not have been a good idea because when I demolded the fish um it just was I didn't like it <laughs> it was just blue and didn't have any the glitter didn't settle inside of um all of the nooks and crannies Basically, the, the top of it was clear, and then the bottom of it was um, the glitter. And I, I should have known that, but I just wanted to, you know, um, do something with my leftover glitter. So um, what I did, I demolded these off camera because I've seen a lot of people try and demold this one specific jar and it just it takes a lot of time to get that sucker out of there this small one wasn't any trouble at all 
but as you can see the glitter most of the glitter floated to the bottom and then the other glitter I don't know it was, it was suspended so um I made these jars um yeah I just I made the jars before the lids because I wanted to see number one I wanted to see how the jars looked and then number two how I was going to layer um the the glitter that's going to be inside the lids so I'm just going to use my purple glitter um and just fill up the molds for the lids So I'm not going to pour, um, I'm not going to layer the glitter inside of both of these lids. I'm just going to use one layer. So that's why I'm pouring um, in the middle. And I'm waiting for the resin to settle so I can top it off. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for um, future videos that I have coming up. Alrighty. So I take that extra um, glitter that's in that little cup and I go and I fill up my um, alphabet molds. So I'm just hitting it with a heat gun trying to get all those little bitty bubbles out of there and they just collect all over the sides. This doesn't look good once it's cured. <laughs> I'm like get out of there. Oh jeez. Okay, so they've cured, and I'm um, just going to pop them out. See, most of the glitter floated to the bottom, and it stayed on the top. Um, and then I have just, yeah, um, I had just a little bit of the glitter inside the resin. Um after it all floated to the bottom, which I kind of didn't want, but um, that's what I was going to try to find out. That's why this was an experiment. So there's the little one. And voila.